When asked how it all started, I always tell that it all began that day when we went to botanical gardens. We, meaning yours truly, and two of my friends. Whose idea was it to visit the abandoned station? Who persuaded the others to go? I always tell them that I don't remember. I always lie. It is a safe lie. Or there is no way to ascertain the truth. Both Vitaly and Eugene are dead now. The massive airlock doors shrugged and opened with a grinding sound, opening a road to hell for us and a road into the metro for the demons. But in fact, it all started that day when Mother said we should take a walk in the botanical gardens and go there by metro. I remember how we took a short escalator to the surface, how we exited a spacious glass pavilion and saw a street buried in green. I remember the small clouds moving across the limitless sky, and soft, cool wind on my face. Mother bought me an ice cream. That was the last time I tasted it. That day, humanity was executed. The righteous and the sinful were called to be rendered according to their deeds. And we hid from God's sight in the metro. And we were saved from his wrath. And he apparently decided that flushing us out wasn't worth the trouble. Then he went about his business or perhaps died. While we stayed on this used up and discarded earth and continued just going with it. Going nowhere. I remember so many random, unnecessary things, yet I don't remember the most important one. My mother's face. She died very soon after the war started. All that remains of her is that day in the gardens. How I wished I could recall her face. The way she looked at me. The way she whispered that I have nothing to fear sell my soul just to recall that. I'd do that any day, any time. And I did. What's up everybody, we're back at it again with another uh, Metro game. Metro Last Light, to be exact. Uh, I was actually playing this game earlier. I played like a full hour and 30, and then I realized that it wasn't recording. And I was like, no! I, you know, I tried to do like the Darth Vader. So I'm gonna have to start this from the beginning all over again. So that means I have to listen to all the damn dialogue. I'm gonna do it in survival mode because, you know, somebody said that, uh, it's, it's the way that the game was meant to be played or something like that. The Dark Ones came much later. From the garden's direction. The Dark Ones. Huge. Towering a full head over the highest man. Nightmarish creatures. Creepy as a man turned inside out. Monsters born to destroy us. The word was they were incredibly strong and unnaturally evil. That with bare paws they could tear armed men apart. That's all lies. Truth is even scarier. Well, I used to live nearby. Before the war, I mean, uh, up there. I was on the train when it happened. I tried calling my family, but couldn't get through. What was that? What the? What? Head for the hills! Oh, there's a fucking door behind me. Shit! Who's there? Shit! Shit! Oh shit, I can actually kill one. Oh god! Fuck you! Oh Jesus! Ah! Why are you attacking me? Ah, I thought I was on your side!
here I thought the Dark Words were good guys. Artyom, wake up Artyom. It's me, Khan. Nightmares, eh? No wonder, after all you've been through. Listen, I have incredible news. A couple of days ago, I was near the ruins of the Dark One's hive. And I saw one of them, still alive. I immediately set out to find you, as you were the one they tried to contact. Before you launched the missile strike against them. That's not true. I did the first ah, ending. How the hell did you get here? Get out! Now! Yes, Ullman, one moment. If a Dark One has survived, it is vital that you try to speak with it, Artyom. I realize that, as one of the Order now, you report to Miller. But we must persuade him to allow this mission. Khan, I told you to get out! This is a classified base. You shouldn't even be here. I'll take you to Colonel Miller. Follow me, Artyom. Get ready, Artyom. I'll be waiting at the exit. Move it, you windbag. I can't. Jeez. I knew right on, man. Once. During the last year of his life, he had to eat, drink, and breathe through a tiny hole in his throat. All right, so basically this first mission is going to be like just a lot of dialogue. And that's pretty much it. that's pretty much going to be all this episode pretty much. Is that the light? Oh, okay. We found this place a while ago, but they still can't get used to it. <laughs> Strange place, this D6. Привет, Артём. Hey. Артём was one of the men who found D6. They gave him a ranger's badge on the spot. Yep. Yeah. That's nice for him. I had to spend two years as a cadet before they accepted me into the order. Well, anyway, uh, where were we? The story is, construction started in Stalin's time and went on until the USSR broke down. War was inevitable, they said. The people believed in a better future. Our leaders put their money on Armageddon. And did D6 save them? No. They couldn't reach it in time. And here, it stood for 30 years until our guys stumbled on it. Everything inside was untouched. Weapons, medicine. <laughs> like finding buried treasure, eh? I suppose it's nice down shit. here since they got the reactor working. The lights, the heat. But still, it doesn't feel right. Like, it's too damn good, you know? Quit whining. It's a gift from your ancestors. Enough to survive down here for decades. Maybe until the world up there will take us back. Hmm. So yeah, I gotta listen to all the dialogue. Um, they can keep dreaming in the metros. For me, it still feels like every patrol outside could be the last. Did you hear what happened to Romanov? Romanov? I thought he was in the hospital from the attack on the Great Library. Discharged last week, so his squad is sent through the marshes to the church base. And Romanov's the only one who makes it there alive. You're shitting me. The rest of the group? Wiped out? The marshes are easy. You just look for the markers and flags and walk along them so you don't drown. A child could do it. Foreshadowing. Okay, Foreshadowing the missions. always gave you hell. But come on, what could take a whole squad down? No idea. They found Romanov's alone at the church, sitting on the floor praying. Since then, he doesn't eat, doesn't react to people. He just speaks to God. <laughs> Hope Romanov's not expecting an answer. <laughs> Got nothing to say, all right. Come on, you have five more sets of 30. <laughs> Look at those two rookies. Pathetic. Doing good. No wonder the Pathetic. Cold order training time double. Sharper, move sharper. Hey, man, You're don't point that right at me, shit. Heard about what you did. Respect, man. Word is, there's shit in the marshes. Maybe worse than the dark ones. Stay out of there. <laughs> that was a mighty fine barbecue you made of those dark ones. Whatever people might say, the rangers were right to bring you into the order. We need men like you. There he is. 
Our hero. I also heard Miller himself sent for you. You should head to Miller's office. The Colonel's not known for his patience. Yeah, if I remember correctly, Miller was the guy that was joking around. Does he have like a new job now? Hello, Artyom. Welcome to the Armory. I hear you're a ranger now, huh? We must get a drink sometime to celebrate. For now, let's get you equipped. So, first things first. You're going to need a gas mask. You can't make a step on the surface without a gas mask. It's been 20 years and the radiation still strong enough in some places to boil water. There are hot spots down here in the metro, too. Don't forget filters for the mask. Sure, it looks cool enough even without these, but they definitely make it better for your health. Now, med kits. Well, what can I say? Anything you need for survival in a stylish orange case. Here's your advance salary for this month. Remember, your pay is in military-grade rounds. Sure, you can use them as usual ammo for some hefty extra damage, but saving them to buy guns, attachments, regular ammo and equipment for patients anywhere in the metro seems like a smarter move. Haha, <laughs> alright. Now to the good stuff, huh? Let's get you some guns. Yeah! Take the ones you want and try them out on the range. Let's see. So I was I was actually looking at some other videos and I noticed that this gun actually shoots uh, shoots differently. Um, but I'm not sure. Actually, I need to test this bitch. Let's say I want the shotgun. Shotguns are used for stopping close range. Just don't go try to snipe it. Dick. Alright. Hunt him. Come visit us soon. Okay, so let's look at this gun. Target. Fucking annihilated. Shooting position. Uh, okay. Sure, this bitch. Right. I have to wonder if this thing uses up a lot of ammo. I imagine it does. Alright. The stations are crawling with dreamers. Each light crazier than the last. Sure. Food for 10 million, super weapons, secret machinery. And others claim there's a radio down here powerful enough to contact the bunkers in Siberia, where the president and the government are holed up. Yeah, it's madness. No way, the base is clear. At least the part we're in. They've checked it. Yesterday, the commander checked the doors. Lots of them are still sealed. Some are welded shut. And there's a few that look like they were locked inside. So what? So there's radioactive shit behind some of those doors. Cut enough to bake an egg. Can't remember the last time. I ate an egg. Look. There's a reactor here, right? On the other side of the facility. I'm not sure it's safe here. Maybe this place wasn't designed as a shelter. What else? No idea, but I wouldn't fuck with any of the sealed doors. Miller's calling the group leaders in. There's going to be a big assembly. Please, Osip, let me smoke in peace. I was on duty in the Situation Room yesterday, so I heard something. Seems like there's all kinds of things stirring up. What do you mean? The Reds are mobilizing. They've recruited old men, schoolboys, sent off to training camps. I tell you, war is coming. Who are they going to fight? The usual suspects, probably. The Nazis. Yeah, that reminds me. The sentry stops I spotted three recon groups of Reich stalkers. Strange. The Nazis have never been outside in such numbers before. Three groups, you said? Where? Two of the squads came close to this place. Serbia, so. The Nazis checked the vents, cellars, as if they were searching for an entry point. Shit. Think they know we found D6? Maybe. I'm pretty sure. It's not good. If they do try to get in, they're finished. Miller has triple the guns. True. He knows about the Nazis. 
The familiar disguise they just seen the Dugin. I think the Orber can hold off the Reich. Slow down. The Order is neutral. We are the guardians of the entire metro. We protect our fellow humans from monsters and mutants. What state would dare go to war against us? Let me finish the story. It was a third one of Nazis, remember? They were seen at exhibition on the surface. We had sentries there, scalpel and lost. They were reporting in, said the Nazis were charging them. And the line went dead. Wait, Rost is missing in action? Not missing. He was found along with Scott. A dozen rounds in each one. And finished with headshots. Shit. It was just his birthday last week. We have a drink. What kind of sick fucker would do that to him? You guys done talking? Yeah, this place is just filled with dialogue. So, the colonel has forbidden hell, going out of the well-known area. Our second team was lost yesterday, in one of the side talk. tunnels. The last 500 years have been... Pay no attention to this clown, Alex. Open the gates! Called him a clown. Have you heard Do about that? Lesnitsky? What are you Let talking about? Here. Check Open with the, the guards at the lab. Door. Shit. 44. What the hell did he do? Kyria, opening up! All right, let's go. I like how he just like looks at me. And he's like, like he just kind of like turns. The tombs of ancient kings were filled with whatever they might need in the afterlife: weapons, gold, chariots. They'd sacrifice their wives and slaves to serve their lords, even in death. Reminds me of this bunker. Cut that shit out. The things in D6 are like what the Conqueror took with him beyond the grave. Gold steel, and wild steeds, and treasures untold. Of course, the Tomb Raiders would always die horribly, killed by demons or ghosts, or their own greed. Khan, will you shut up or what? Hey! I heard that Lesnitsky did something! What happened? Nobody knows! Lesnitsky was at the lab. When the next shift came, the door was open and the lab ransacked. Lesnitsky was gone! Shit! So, what's inside? I think Chemical he's a spy. Maybe some other shit. That's, that's all I heard. God damn it. The colonel's going to tear me a new one because of Lesnitsky. A red hot poker right into my soul. If I still have it. All right, let's go. We might control D6, but it's like a damn city down here. All the bunkers, the nooks and crannies and exits. Still, they based the order dreamed of finding. The guys just came back from the ring. They say Hansa is strengthening the sentry points along the whole line, especially the ones close to the Nazis. We just left the briefing. Two Nazi assault teams have started the fight with raids somewhere on the surface. Over what? Let me find out. What are they doing on the surface in the first place? They never went there in such numbers before. HQ thinks they're looking to break into this place. Well, you couldn't hide the news forever. And now they're all salivating over D6. Ah, seems like we'll have to share. With hungry wolves? <laughs> they're going to share you, bro. And then each other. They've never touched the order before. Because the order was like a hedgehog. No meat to speak of and too much trouble getting to it. But now we have lots of meat and they all want to bite. Ow! Hear about scalpel and roast? He says the Nazis. Big mistake. Miller does not forget such things. We'll find those responsible in time. All of them. And they will sleep with the fishes. I've got a feeling like before the war. In the summer. When a thunderstorm was coming and the air was thick and humid, suffocating. I was two when the war started. You're talking about storms? I don't remember that shit. Hmm. I wonder if my son even knows the word storm. Hmm. I'll ask him when I get home. Don't talk about home either. So yeah, this is gonna be mostly dialogue this episode. Miller ordered all our men assembled here on this base. Let's hear what he has to say at the assembly. 
I have a bad feeling. Remember what Miller said when we found these six? With these treasures, with these weapons, we'll become men again. Take back the surface, wipe it clean of mutants. <laughs> and this is where we find ourselves. What did you expect? If starving men smell a hot dinner, they'll kill each other for a bite. Can't help thinking. The entire metro has been offered a chance at salvation. And all we can do is go to war over it. Ivan, it's not us, it's them! The Order is protecting D6, we're its guardian angels. Angels don't place machine guns at every entrance <laughs> to massacre intruders. You mean thieves, and we are the sword of retribution. Retribution. Hey, anyone know what the buzz is about? Why the summons? I hear the Reds are mobilizing. Maybe Hansa too. What's that? People say the Reds are sending their agents into Hansa via neutral stations. Looks like they're onto something. There's word the Nazis are sniffing around for our treasure. Do they know what's in here? All the weapons and shit? Well, genius, if they thought it was a diaper storage facility, they'd leave it alone. <laughs> what if they find the entrances? Stone the bunker? <laughs> Any of our men is worth five Reds. And the exchange rate for the Nazis is also quite favorable. You forget, the Red Lines got 15,000 people. They could kill with numbers alone. My god, we're what? Two hundred? Thousands. Hundreds. Arsini, this is the only sum you need to know. Zero. That's the number we fight to. The last man. Exactly. A war with no winner. I don't know if I like that. Oh, uh, what he said there. A, nor a war with no winner. It's true, though. Come on, take these guys to Miller. They've been summoned. Yes, sir. All right, go on in. I'll wait here. When you've gone, I'll speak to Miller. The bombing of the Dark Ones may have been humanity's worst mistake. What if they meant us no harm, but were trying to communicate? Perhaps the severe pain and loss of consciousness suffered in their presence just meant we were incompatible. I didn't Machines bomb one the first time. You can't blame me. Wiring. But somehow you, Artyom, have the common wire. The connection with the Dark Ones. Yes. People died at exhibition. Your home station. Hunter, the best of the Order, is most likely dead as well. And he taught you this. If we don't fight for our lives in this new world, we'll be devoured. It is the law of evolution. But I would argue, the old laws no longer apply. Interesting. All right. Hey, you're you still alive. Come. You have something to report? Yes, Colonel. Let's keep it short, then. I located the surviving Dark One at the gardens. What? One of those things is still alive? Luckily, yes. Luckily? Come, this is utter madness. The Dark Ones were the greatest threat the Order's ever faced. Colonel, just give me a chance. A single Dark One is no threat. Artyom has a gift. I believe he can establish contact with the creature. Let him come with me. All right. Artyom, go with Khan to the gardens and locate the Dark One. I'll send a sniper along. My best. Anna. Yes, sir. Why would we need a sniper? To eliminate the creature and finish the Order's job. Miller, you can't. It's murder. Restrain him. You idiot. You're making the same mistake that... We're done here. Escort Khan out of here. Artyom, it's your last chance for forgiveness, for getting rid of the nightmares! Ah. I didn't do Forget it. Forget about Khan. Looks like he got close, too close oh. to the creature and lost his mind. Look here, Artyom. Complete the mission and get back here quickly. A war is coming and I'll need every ranger at his post. On your way. So, what are you waiting for? Come along, rabbit. Yes. Artyom, if it's true that the Dark Ones can sense you, maybe you could draw it out from hiding so Anna can have a clear shot. 
But do me a favor. Don't let the Dark One get into your mind. Or Anna will have two targets. Is that understood? We now suspect Lesnitsky was a sleeper agent, but we haven't verified who's running him. Your job is to intercept him before he delivers the stolen container. Understood? Yes, sir. If Lesnitsky escapes with the container, the entire Metro is at risk. So if you can't take him alive, you damn well better bring me his head. Yeah. Yes, sir. Dismissed. I keep pressing the F button because I'm so used to like playing another thing. Don't tell me you believe that bullshit about making peace with the Dark Ones. I, I did it in the first I've one. I've been up in that tower myself to see the missiles fall and watch them burn in their nests. Come on, Rabbit. Would you let those things into the Metro? Let them crawl into our brains so they could use us like animals. Maybe we could mate with them, so the children could live on the surface and feed off the radiation. Shit. You don't shake hands with the devil. Please step away from the edge of the platform. Train coming in. Alright, hop in like a good little rabbit. Any ammo back here? I don't really do. We've worn this place out. Let's move. 